AZAM is back. Look who's here. Fox yeah. Bay anchor John Hook. It takes a lot exciting. to get me up this early. I no, I, I'm uh, up for the kids anyway. Right. Well, we well, appreciate you coming. coming in. You're welcome. Yeah. It's good you're not, to see you're not usually suited up at this time. I no, know in fact, I thought I'm going to go casual, but I didn't want to change and go through all that right. rigmarole. So. <laughs> Just make it a long day today. It, is it a stress to say this may be like the most infamous unsolved murder in the Valley in the last like you know 40 or 50 years? I think it is, and and. Um, and Rick Romley, who prosecuted the case, who's been around a long time, he said it definitely is. He said it's the one that sticks with him. And you'll hear that in the story that we've got for you this morning. So Bob Crane, to set the stage for everybody, I mean, if you're a certain age, you know exactly what Hogan's Probably over about. 40, maybe over 35, you right. know. I mean, very popular show. It was a comedy based on a World War II prison camp. But it had this very charismatic star, Bob Crane, Bob Crane. was right. Colonel Hogan. Right. Kind of an all-American guy. He wanted to be the next Jack Lemmon, frankly, and a very great comedic actor had had a brilliant career in radio in Los Angeles before he got picked up on television. And that show launched him to superstardom, not only in the United States, but globally. Huge in Germany, ironically, really? since it's set in a, in a German POW camp. But he was murdered. He was murdered in Scottsdale. Here's. He was living a risky lifestyle, videotaping women, having sex with women with his friend, John Carpenter. And that's where Carpenter became the focus, started to become the focus as the killer. And then blood was found in Carpenter's car, matching Crane's blood type. But the jury in 1994, when it finally went on trial, the blood, the tests were inconclusive for DNA. This is right around the time of O.J. Simpson. The tests weren't as good. Exactly. They weren't as sensitive. And so the jury said, well, it's great you've got this blood, but we can't prove it's Bob Crane's. Therefore, they acquitted John Carpenter of the murder. So let's take a look right now at uh, some of your piece tonight. Okay. Roll it. Hogan's heroes and star Bob Crane still beloved by millions around the globe. Crane was one of the most recognizable faces on television, and his death remains one of the top unsolved celebrity murders of all time. During my career, I've had a lot of big cases, but the Bob Crane case tops them all. Crane was in Scottsdale, starring in Beginner's Luck at the Windmill Dinner Theater when he was found bludgeoned to death in his apartment in June of 1978. Crane's longtime pal, John Carpenter, was in Scottsdale at the time. He and Crane shared a dark obsession, videotaping women that they had sex with. Carpenter became the prime suspect when blood matching Crane's rare blood type was found in Carpenter's rental car. We're trying to talk to you about the murder of Bob Crane. This I understand. In Scottsdale. This I understand. What do you think about that? I think it's a great, but when you sit across from me and accuse me of killing my best friend, one of my best friends. Well, I'm still I think thinking I, that you did. All right, then fine. In then fact, I, won't I say think I would be able to probably prove that you did. Then fine, then I'm not going to say another word. You believe in your heart of hearts John Carpenter killed Bob Crane? Absolutely. No doubt. No doubt. 100%. 100%. Carpenter eventually went on trial in 1994, but DNA tests at the time could not positively link the blood found in Carpenter's rental car to Bob Crane. Carpenter was acquitted. Not guilty of murder in the first degree. Signed four person Michael E. Lake. If they would have said, yep, that is Bob Crane's blood, he would have been found guilty. No doubt. No doubt at all in my mind. They lifted. 121 fingerprints. Bob Crane's blood. It is. Taken at his autopsy. It was on June 30th, 1978. Still in liquid form. Yeah, it appears to be. Yes, it is. In an unprecedented investigation, the Maricopa County Attorney's Office granted me permission to retest the DNA evidence in the Bob Crane murder. The science is finally caught up to where we now have that last piece of evidence that might be, you know, it's that last piece of the puzzle. Will our tests prove that John Carpenter killed Bob Crane? So if they find this is Bob Crane's DNA in that blood, case closed. Case closed. Is it possible you guys chased the wrong guy for 40 years? Sure, if it's somebody else's blood. If it's not uh, Crane's DNA, uh, yeah, then, you know, we do have the wrong guy. Tonight on Fox 10 News at 9, we present our results to the world. When you brought this to my attention, I said, go, in my mind. Go, go, go. Try it. Do it. Thank you. Will we close the book on the case once and for all, or perhaps open a new chapter in one of the most high-profile unsolved murders in American history? Wow. Wow. Okay. And uh, the killer is... 
<laughs> We've got good data. Okay. We've got good data. And we can watch Seriously. tonight. We have a result. We have a result. And, and uh, you're an author. Yes. It became such an obsession, Troy. Um, in the middle of this, I said, there's just too much, too many backstories. I've got to write a book about it. And I have. And it's, it's available. You can go to whokilledbobcrane.com and pre-order. The book will come out in February. I'm still, there's still a chapter to be written, obviously. Um, but the book will be available, but you can pre-order it now, and it's available Amazon, Barnes & Noble, all your, all your booksellers. Major books. Yeah. Well, this is fascinating. Wow. It's, I, it's I a really, really interesting him case. as a viewer. He's such a uh, likable and, and guy. And a great father, by the way. His kids absolutely adored him. He was living a, a secret life on the side, but when he was at home, he was all in, and the people who knew him loved him. Loved him. Good seeing Thanks. you, bud. Good seeing I can't you. wait to see you. I miss you at night. Yeah, I, no, I you got you him. Too. I got him. You're lucky. Yeah. You're lucky her. <laughs> All right. All right. Good seeing you, buddy. Thank we'll you. be right back. Stay with us. Yeah, I'm tuning in for that one yeah. tonight. You bet.